You are listening to Comedy Club for Kids presents. Radio nonsense, radio nonsense, radio nonsense, radio nonsense, radio nonsense. Hey, 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 hey. Um, sorry, it's that time of the year, so I am full of hay fever. Um, I don't know if any of you get hay fever. I hope you don't. If you don't know about it, it's also known as allergic rhinitis, which sounds a bit like it's caused by rhinos, doesn't it? But I don't think it is, as I haven't seen any around here. I don't think there's any rhinos anywhere near where I live, unless, of course, they're all very tiny rhinos that hide in the flowers that bloom over spring. In which case, it could be me being allergic to tiny rhinos. Do bees carry small rhinos on their knees? Is that how it works? Anyway, I thought I was just allergic to pollen, and I was ready to find the pollen count, whoever he is, wherever he lives, and have a bit of a word about it, because I'm sick of it. Imagine having to actually count all of the pollen. That would take ages, and it's so small, and you'd definitely miss a few, and you'd have to keep asking bees, like, how many's on that knee, 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 how many's on that knee. It would just take ages, wouldn't it? Ages and ages. Um, take even longer for me as I'd be sneezing all the time on account of my allergic rhinitis. Apparently, um, when your nose is constantly pouring out really runny snot, you know the kind where it's like almost see-through and you could use it as slime or really rubbish glue, which would be horrible, wouldn't it? Look at my collage, I've made it with runny snot there. Anyway, when that happens, that's called rhinorrhea, which is very funny, isn't it? Because it makes it sound like you poop rhinos, which um, you don't. Anyway, what am I talking about? I blame the pollen or tiny rhinos. Uh, what I meant to say was, welcome to Radio Nonsense, the official comedy club for kids podcast, ageable for all suits from three-piece to of armour. I'm a very sneezy, sniffly tin, and thanks to my tiny rhino allergies, but otherwise, I'm enjoying the spring very much, uh, with all the blossom everywhere, making it look like the trees have got all dressed up to go somewhere nice, and the weather going, I'll be sunny, now I'll be windy, now I'll be rainy, now I'll be grey, now I'll be blue skies, and you have to change clothes every ten minutes just to keep up with it. I went out this morning with a jacket and jumper on, and then within an hour I was too hot again, and then I took that off, and then it started raining, then I had to put it all back on again, and then it got warm again, and I had to take it off. This is impossible, isn't it? How do you know how to get dressed in the morning? I keep thinking I'm going to turn on like the TV and the weatherman will go I don't know good luck I wish someone would design clothes that would change depending on the weather so like a big winter coat but then if you pressed a button it sort of shrank down and becomes some swimming trunks or like a summer hat but when you press the big button bits come down from the edge of it and it's like a giant umbrella or like a jacket but when you take it off you've got a t-shirt on underneath oh no wait sorry that's just a jacket isn't it that's how jackets work Anyway, I hope you're having a lovely week and if you're on your Easter holidays uh, that you're enjoying them and managing to have as much fun doing all the things you can do when not going to school. Um, You know, like sort of, well, doing anything except go to school. That would be the worst thing to do in the school holidays, wouldn't it? Going to school. Though at the same time, no one else would be at the school so you could run in all the corridors and chew chewing gum everywhere and feel like you were in charge. Actually, that sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Maybe you should pop into school just for a laugh. I'm sure they wouldn't mind you breaking in. You could just say you're very enthusiastic about education when they catch you writing bum on the classroom wall in crayon. Anyway, um, thank you for the brilliant questions you've sent in. Thank you lots to D and for the lovely reviews on Apple Podcasts. Um, and if you enjoy this show too, please, please give us a nice review on there as well. Or like just hit the five stars, write poo and then put lots of laughing emojis. That is also great and very much appreciated. Um, this week too, we've been sent in a joke from Frankie, aged 11 in California. Um, this is brilliant. This You're going to love this. Right, are you ready? What is a joke? Judge's favourite rock. Courts! Amazing! I love it! That is superb wordplay. Very impressed. Brilliant. Uh, Thank you tons to Frankie for sending that in. Um, And she also sent in a question which will be answered on a later episode as we have got so, so many questions in at the moment. It will take a while to get to that one. Um, And of course, if you do have a question for us, uh, which obviously will take a while to get to, um, or a joke, or you just want to send in the word poo with lots of laughing emojis, then please ask your miffed grumble puppets, sorry, grown-ups, to help you email us at podcast at comedyclubforkids.co.uk. And now for this week's most as importantest bit. <laughs> Today on the show, I am joined by Johnny and Paddy, aka Johnny and the Baptists, aka Johnny and Paddy, the very best at Kabaddi, the current title holders for most trousers worn in one day. And as I'm sure all the listeners to this show will know, uh, due to all the Nobel Prize accolades that followed, they are the discoverers of the world's smallest way to say cheese. Um, welcome, <laughs> welcome to both of you. It's so nice to have you here. 
Hello, thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. That is an honour. We're very excited. It's very, very, very excited. Thank you. Thank you for accurately listing all the all all our accolades. It's very rare that people do that. Yeah, no one ever mentions the trousers thing, but it was a big day. It took it took about it took ages. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it, it 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 really did, and it wasn't worth it. No, but it was uncomfortable. Wasn't it? I mean, wasn't it worth it? Because I mean, you are you now have that title, so surely that's worth it. For that, although you said a lot of people don't seem to remember that, I remember it very clearly. I remember all the pictures where we couldn't see you for trousers. Yeah, That's true. I mean, that was yeah. that was quite funny. Yeah, but, but we we nearly got disqualified for wearing a pair of dungarees. Yeah, it's Ooh. a curse often more than a blessing. That's the, <laughs> it is, that's the yeah. thing. Yeah. Yes, that's but true. Isn't it? I suppose to... you have to be very careful with the rules and, and stipulations that dungarees don't count. I suppose you couldn't have worn any salopettes or anything like that. No, no dungarees, salopettes. Um, no, I mean, it would, uh, jogging bottoms are. You know, it's a well. They it's let a thin line, through, isn't but it? They probably shouldn't. I mean, what yeah. was really frustrating is we got about forty pairs in, and then Johnny realised mm. that he'd left his phone in pair fifteen, so we had yeah. to then take off twenty five layers, yeah. try and get to and his then phone. Four layers under that was a pair that yeah. I, I'd half eaten, so it got all <laughs> smushy. And that that was our lunch, and so <laughs> yeah. you know, we put it all back on, got hungry, had to go back in. Um, it took so long. Yeah, exactly. It was it was a disaster. Ask, I mean, one of my big fears of that is I'd put sort of... Uh, what, what number did you get to? It's something like 392, wasn't it? And my, my big worry... 393. Is th- 393. 393. Sorry. Oh, apologies. And, you know, no, I'd worry that sorry. I get to 391 and need a wee. Mm. And then what oh, do you do we then? Just, we yeah. just decided to just wee through them. Yeah, we, so, we, we made an early agreement on that. Yeah, yeah. so the, the first seven pairs of trousers were just ruined. They were yeah. just awash with wee. And, yeah, all, and yeah. some very small poos. Yeah, we, we, and we and we gave in. We gave in very early as well. I think I think we were halfway through putting on the second pair, and uh, where where we just went. You know what? Both of us need this. We just we need um, this, and there's yeah, no point I, trying. We've to We've come this far. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so is there something wee. as well? Because I'd have thought in the, in the technique, and obviously you had an incredible technique to get there, but but like if you wee on trousers, they become sort of thinner, don't they, and stuck to you. So therefore, you can almost mm. get more trousers. Over them. Well, at first, it's at first they're lovely and warm, uh, yeah. But that does change; they do yeah. get cold. Um, no, I think that there is a moment halfway through when you think, you know, I'm I'm just a man wearing currently 157 wee stained pairs of trousers. Yeah, is this worth it? But by the end, once we'd got that pair, so we'd had a bit of energy. Yeah, yeah. I think we thought it was definitely the right thing to do. Oh, it's, it's great. I mean, I say it's, it's an honour having having uh, such incredible trouser wearers on the podcast today. Yeah, um, and I mean, how how are you both getting on? I guess you're both wearing just one one pair each at the moment. Yeah, just the traditional one now. I never go beyond one since that no. day. It was it's too mm. harrowing. Paddy Paddy sometimes wears a pair of shorts under his trousers. Yeah, just to, to you know to live in the moment and yeah. you know the memories. Really, I mean, memories, I can't yeah. I can't just, let it go. Yeah. Um, and uh, also, we did, uh, we did, we did glue, glue some of them to me, so that there are sort of they're, parts they're all that, that, that I can't, I can't leave behind. Um, yeah. And I live with that. And hell. yeah, so yeah, and and I'm, I'm, I'm happy with my choices, Tim. And so that's so, yeah. are you? Well, happy with your choices? No. Well, you've made them. I mean, well, I've made them. Pockets, that's the key. Which is, that's, I mean, that, that'd be great exactly. to always have pockets. So I'd like which, they call him Paddy Paddy Pockets. They call me Paddy Pockets. He's carrying all the pairs. Um, yeah, yeah, that is true. Yeah, exactly. When we go out, when we go out, he carries all the pairs. And and Johnny requires an, a lot of pairs to get yeah, through. Four. Like, like even an hour. Like like you know, yeah, four pairs. Which four is pairs. Which, which, hang on. Is that four? Is that, that four pairs of pairs? So is that like eight pairs? That's eight pairs. That's eight pairs. Yeah, exactly. But, well, it's but sixteen we, really. Because, it's sixteen uh, really because yeah, it's eight yeah, pairs a pair each. of pairs is already, It's eight pairs right, each. Sure, and, sure. That's yeah, exactly, pairs, and, yeah. and that's per pocket as well. So you know, yeah. We're so talking, really, it's thirty-two. We're talking a plethora of pairs in my pockets at all yeah. times. Really, it's, it's that is a yeah. busy lives. Sixty-four lives pairs ready 64 to go. Sixty-four pairs, yeah, ready to go at any given time, and then yeah. hundred you know, and twenty-eight we, pairs. There's, yeah, hundred. There's yeah, exactly. There's two hundred and fifty-six by the door because yeah, if yeah. I need to come back and mm. restock, and I always um, keep five hundred and twelve pairs in. Uh, it well, get 512 pairs of pairs, so that's 1,024 yeah. pairs. Yeah, exactly. Because, um, of course, yeah. the standard pear tree has has uh, 2,048 um, or 1,024. Right. Yeah, yeah. like, and it's a small... one partridge, right? Is that 
It's always uh, one, one partridge, partridge, but that's but that's only um, that's only two thousand and forty eight pairs. Christmas. Yeah, yeah. So sure. um, there's no partridge it's for the lot. rest of the year. Sorry, hang on. Just no, joke. there's no because I thought the partridge of the pear tree they were given it for Christmas, so I'd assume the partridge was already there in order for the gift to you know because you've got to get stuff in advance. No, the rest yeah. of the year the partridge is very busy. Uh, yeah, doing and, special and very events. ungrateful. Yeah, sure. Yeah, actually, yeah. I've yeah, exactly. opening, no, they, opening a waitrose. Opening a waitrose and quite often, you know, working full time for us uh, in charge of the admin on the pear tree. So, Makes well, sense. that is quite a lot sure. of work. Yeah. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of pears, as we've said. Well, how, how, how are you? We both put him in trousers. Your, yeah, we, put, your... we, we tried putting him in trousers and he, he, yeah, he's having none he of it, wasn't like he? But, it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, exactly. but that, it gave us the idea in the first place, though. And, yeah, that's where uh, it came from. Yeah, exactly. He's, some, stay, some say he's still in there somewhere. Um, oh. In the pile, the pile of trousers that we left on that monument. Probably very warm, day. though. Very warm. Oh so, yeah, very warm, but wet, yeah. wet, but wet, damp, yeah. cold, damp, cold. Yeah. Yeah. Still, well, bless him. There you go. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you're doing all right. I mean, I was going to ask how you are apart from the trousers, but obviously you're busy mm. with pair admin, partridge yeah. concerns. You have got quite a lot going on. Yeah, yeah, it's mm. busy. It's, uh, yeah. it's never a dull day. <laughs> no. Good, good. Well, I, I wanted to ask, you know, a lot of the listeners have been listening to this. Uh, well, they're now probably back at school, but um, they're still having to spend a lot of time at home, more than is really mm. uh, enjoyable. I just wonder mm. if you two had any good tips for, for listeners who are stuck at home uh, if they're a bit bored. Yes, if you're stuck at home and you're bored and you can't think of anything to do, um, find a jar uh, or a tub, a tin, I should say, of paint and just pour it gently all over the sofa. Mm. And yeah, get we a call, new coloured sofa. Yeah, we we call it couch colour, and we um, couch colour. We do it quite a lot, actually. It's it's. Um, I don't know where the therapeutic aspect of it comes from, but it's it's really it's, good. It's, it's relaxing. Um, yeah, it's um, it's it's a bit fumey, but it's fun. Mm. Yeah, ma- yeah, exactly. Yeah, the fumes. Yeah, make sure make sure that you've closed all the doors and windows so the paint can't get out and just yeah, just that's go, important. Go, go ham wild with that paint is what I always say. Yeah. Um, wild. That's been pretty good. I've been um uh I've been gradually uh adding extra soles to my shoes and uh mm. cutting the soles off my flatmate's shoes so that I can uh you know impose on them and uh show how powerful I am. <laughs> you get you get taller and they get smaller. <laughs> yeah, I try I, I get I get taller, they get smaller, much like Roald Dahl, and I sort of every time I go out on my daily my daily walk uh, I try and pick up a number of feathers to add to my headdress. Um, <laughs> it just helps. It helps with the balance of power in the flat. And uh, it's nice. You know. It's nice. It keeps people knowing where they stand. Yeah, exactly. And our our, yeah. our daily meetings, which begin at one a.m. and then are you know uh, <laughs> four times an hour until bed, which is you know towards about one a.m. Um, yeah. I have to wear the headdress and do I do my dance and my sort of and they try and imitate it, but. That's part of the, you know, it's part of the fun is that they are there. They can't. Well, uh, they haven't got any souls in their shoes. They haven't got any souls I was, I was in their shoes. Say, they make it very hard because you sort of said, you know, they know where they stand, but they can't stand on any gravel or anything like no. that. It would really, it'd really hurt. Well, it is a very no. gravelly flat that you live in. Mm. Uh, it's a very gravelly flat because of under my new, well, under the new rules, as I'm calling them, yeah. which um, you, they're fans. You gravel the floors worry. every yeah, morning. I, I, I gravel the floors every morning. And I, I grit them at night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've got to, well, you've got to have a system. Yeah, I don't want them slipping over. Yeah. You're like, you know, they're not yeah. wearing shoes anymore. Like, yeah. <laughs> wow. I mean, this is incredible. The, the, the sofa painting tip is, uh, is is absolutely brilliant. And I, I just want to check: do you because you close all the windows and you don't let any of the fumes out? I guess yeah. it remains quite sticky. And then you're not just painting the sofa; but you're painting maybe your, your grown ups' bums, your siblings' the trick, bums. The trick to it is to um, pour the paint all over the sofa, mm-hmm. take off your clothes apart from your socks. Yeah, roll. In, in the sort of sofa paint as much as you can. Mm. And then you run around wearing just paint in your socks mm. and you try and cover as much of the house and everyone's things and everyone as you can. And you shout, I am paint monster! <laughs> Well, you see now, I think there's something nice about it as well because you know, for a lot of listeners, their their grown ups have been talking about redecorating. Oh, this room needs a bit of redecoration. Mm. You know, that needs a bit of paintwork. That's how you do it for them as a nice surprise when they they come down in the morning. 
you've you've changed the whole kitchen to be puce or something. It's the element the tr- of surprise. The, the, that's that's the word. That's the word. Really the word. Surprise is important thing. I think people, because of lockdown, because of the yeah. pandemic, they miss surprise, mm-hmm. and that's what. I think you should be trying to do to your parents is is surprise them every day, shock them, frighten them, get them yeah, scared. really yeah. scared and yeah. and lo- bewildered, bewildered and unable yeah. to cope. That's Upset. your that's your, yeah yeah really yeah. you know really, really pull on that thread. Them. Yeah. yeah yeah, see how far they can go. Yeah, I, I mean, couldn't I, think I, of a better way to terrify that if, if you've got absolutely massive shoes, you're suddenly, you were a child, but you're now eight foot tall with a headdress mm. and you've painted, you've repainted the living room in, mm. in sort of your favourite colour. I think that would be a perfect... Taupe, yes. Yeah. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful choice there, Johnny. That's really, mm. yeah. yeah, really good. I mean, something something we we didn't mention with the paint thing is, is, is um, when doing the walls, if you could call it, you know, doing the walls, you're sort of rolling... Um, you've got to make sure that you've, you've, you've prepped them because you need to leave. You need to you need to leave messages there for future generations to discover. And um, snacks and snacks, messages exactly. and supplies. Snacks. Yeah, Cheerios. Because um, you know what's it? Pe- what's it? Yeah, ex- exactly. Because we know that parents love surprises, but sometimes they'll you know they'll they'll remove that paint from the wall. They'll say this mm. wasn't the surprise this for today great. for me. Yeah. Um, and you've got to make sure that you that that maybe they did they discover a little something maybe a map to where you you know to where you're keeping uh, their bag you know you've ta- you've taken their bag in this scenario you've hidden it so you know yeah you'd leave a map or a little series of clues as to you know how you know how they can get their possessions back or something like that I, I, I that's how I keep my dad on his feet. It's beautiful. I think it's lovely because one of my big worries about the future is, you know, like, for example, like the dinosaurs left loads mm. of stuff mm. for paleontologists to discover. People yeah. in the past left those stuff for archaeologists. So like, hey, maybe if we, you know, hide all this stuff under the ground, they'll have a bit of fun in, in years time. I don't think we're leaving enough stuff for, for people to find in the future. And I, I sort of often think that when I go out for a walk, maybe I should just kind of like bury stuff. Just, just well, for that's fun why, so people find that's it. That's why I try and bury as many um, of my partner's bank cards yeah. as mm. possible. Important. So as yeah. soon as as soon as I see one, I bury them, you know, anywhere, and then they order a new one and I bury it. You know, and I mm. think really that the reason for that is to give future generations something to enjoy. And yes, mm. it gets on the nerves of my partner, but you know, she's like that. So yeah. And that's actually sort understand. of why we Important. Yeah, that's yeah. part part of the reason we wanted to talk to you today, Tin, and it's cause, you know, for the cheap price of just seventy nine nine ninety nine a month. Um, you too, a month, can be a part of the Johnny and the Baptist time capsule program that we're launching. Yeah, yeah. and all you've got sorry, to give us wait. is your bank cards. Yeah. Well, so, I was just going to change that seventy nine point nine nine. Is that in in currency or pairs? Oh no, yeah. It's, well, yeah, you got double everything. Yeah, yeah, double everything we say if, for, right. for a start. Sure. Um, and remember, the exchange rate on pairs isn't great at the moment, so I'm afraid. Sure, no, that, course, yeah. 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 So that's um, a lot of money. So yeah, it's seven. It's seven nine 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 nine. Hmm. You know, a, a, month. A, a month. But then you got to, you can do the maths in your own head. But yeah, and then if you just send us bank cards, then you know, actually anything else that you think we could sell or bury. I mean, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. We call it selling sell. in the industry. Selling. It's the same. Yeah, yeah, you've got your own lingo because yeah. of you know every profession does. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, we're time capsule team. You know, we're. Well, I'll, I'll leave details on the on the podcast info, and then people can just send you all their stuff directly. Thanks, man. Uh, yep. Yeah, that's that's great. Keys. Good luck with it. I say. Um, well, look, listen. I, I've got a I've got a lot of important questions to ask you, and I've got you on the sure. show for you know because you're so good at it. Um, the, the first one, though, obviously, is that this is an audio podcast. Uh, listeners are going to be hearing this preferably with ears, as I often say. I don't know where people. You know, I don't mind where people choose to listen. They might listen with their bums, their knees. That's up mm, to them. That's fine. But. I, you know, preferably ears, I suppose. And I just wondered if you both had a favourite noise uh, that you could give the listeners. Uh, yes, uh, my favourite noise, crack, is. Oh. Um, uh, um, sorry, that's not it. I, uh, I was just sneezing. My favourite noise you- is um, uh, is is probably uh, the the sound of uh, a potato mm-hmm. thudding. Um, when you uh, drop it from above, from the roof of your house, that's great. Can you can you make that yeah. noise? Can, yeah. Can you can you give us a sure. clip? Yeah. Crack! Oh, sorry. No, that's the only one I can do. Oh, it's pretty good. I mean, right. it sounds pretty 
that I can imagine a potato making that sound. Mm. Yeah, I mean, is that? Yeah, I mean, it, when you say potato, do you mean bird? Because it does oh, sound very bird-like. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't mean. I mean budgy. Budgy. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Budgy. Yeah. I, I yes. always forget that. I was confused those, which is why my shepherd's pie is so weird. It's really weird. Really. Yeah. Really I've, weird, I've had it yeah. before. All the feathers stick in your teeth. It's really. It, yeah. But colourful. Yeah. Very colourful. Most colourful yeah. shepherd's very, pie I've eaten. So. Very colourful. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. one of the few shepherd pies that I've ever had that moves. Yeah. Yes. That's true. Yeah. It's, but I also yeah. like that you keep a potato in a cage and you've kept it there for yeah. quite some time. Yeah. And, well, uh, that's, it's that's rather Bernard. lovely ornament. Mm. Well, there you go. There you go. Yeah. And, and Paddy, how about you? Have you got a favourite noise? Uh, my favourite noise, actually, is just behind me over here. I'm just going to grab it. Uh. Sorry about that. This, uh, this noise no, requires no. a small amount of prep. This is my this is my favourite noise. Um. <laughs> That's mine. So you see, I, I keep it. Incredible. Thing. I keep it nearby at all times because uh, you never know when it's going to come in handy. And um, I mean, as proven by you know, you know, this is this is our first show of the day, and I've already been asked to do it. So yeah, that's um, true. Can, can that's I true. ask what it what it is, or should I never? Is it something we should never ask? I don't know. I think. I mean, it, it's sort of. Um, I mean, it's an instrument that sort of resembles the caged soul of a loved one. Um, mm. It's it's. Uh, I mean, it's it's, oh, got, it's a got a face. Small bear's face. Yeah, yes. most yeah, that's, most instruments don't have a face. But don't yeah. worry, Tin, and this one does. Good. Um, can you? And, is, uh, are there any recognisable tunes you can play on it? A recognisable tune. I mean, why don't you guys throw a tune at me? You know, and I'll see if I can. Um, um, you know, may, see if I maybe can... um, uh, uh, rule Britannia. Rule Britannia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no problem. <laughs> yeah. Um, Oh, that's oh, lovely! That's beautiful. <laughs> that's really beautiful. Wow. Yeah, no problem. You see, he, he, yeah, yeah, he he's got anything. the song. The song's in his heart already. So <laughs> I, I, I actually, I just open his mouth and let him sing. Did you that know while while wonderful. you were playing that, my yeah. my little um, pet potato Bernard in his cage got up and saluted. Oh, lovely! Of course he did. Yeah. Of course he did. Uh, absolutely. I, well, yeah. I heard Everyone both of in my, my flatmates. Saluted, yeah, I heard both of my flatmates panic in the other room because that that's part of the ritual. Um, uh, that I do every day. That's that's how we introduce that that I'm about to line them up and and okay. you know, wear yeah. my headdress. So um, wow, well, that is an incredible you. noise. Yeah. That is an incredible. Well, that is that is a that is an absolutely beautiful sound. Bo- beautiful sounds mm. from both of you. Thank you very much. Thank, um, no, and of course, the other thing that I've got to ask is, you know, this is a family friendly podcast suitable for everyone of all possible sure. ages that you could ever conceive across the universe. Um, and therefore, I just need to know um, if there are any uh, words, rude words that you definitely will not be saying during this show. Oh, um, yeah. Paddy yeah. I, um, no, no, no. Sorry, Paddy, you go first, because I was about to say a very rude word. Um, well, I mean, I the one that I probably get told off most for is um, clemch. Um, uh, clemch is where... Um, uh, you, you. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say something just completely unforgivable. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um well, actually, I, I feel if I were to explain Clemch, it, it might, it's, it's quite powerful. Um, really? hmm. but yeah, I mean, it's, um, it's sort of what I might call. A measure of your buttock resistance power, um, right. yeah, sort of your your clench, and uh, yeah, we use it quite a lot around here. Funnily enough, because it also, you know, you know, much like sometimes uh, up north, they'll they'll call they'll call rolls something different. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, like in my flat, the word clench is used for well, actually, about ninety percent of the things we own. So it does make it quite difficult. But um, yeah. I never say it in front of my dad because. Uh, I mean, he's who I learnt it from, and he hates stealing. Yeah. So, sure, uh, sure, that yeah. makes yeah. sense. So, Clemch. So, I mean, it sounds. I mean, not only does it sound like it's a bit rude, but it also sounds a bit complicated. Uh, it it is. Show, it's, right? it's 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 C C L C L E M P C H. Then you sort of then a sort of ampersand. Mm. Then back to the original C, and then it's that sort of squawk noise that Johnny does all the time. Um, yeah, they're there, and then yeah, yeah. yeah, 
and bear and bear in mind that that you you're not allowed to move you're not allowed to move your mouth when you when you say it it's no, clench no. you know and as you can see my mouth is perfectly still uh, when i yes, say that there's yes. no yeah so that's probably Very mine good. and well no, more, thank you I'm for not, not saying clench you. and i and i won't say it either i definitely won't let that that word happen on this show no, not even no, once thank you right. we'll avoid no. clench um johnny any words that you definitely won't be saying yeah bum crumpet um, yeah. don't, don't don't say that no. yeah yeah bum crumpet uh uh, Willy Toast. Oh, no, yeah. I don't say. This is an awful, awful selection of breakfast goods. Yeah, well, the, I've, I've just had breakfast, yeah. so I've got them all in my, you know, fart muesli. Oh, yeah. no, um, that's the, the worst ones, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's a bad one. There's, um... Um, yeah, there's a few others. There's, um, yeah, there's um, uh, porridge teats. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've, but yeah, I've had that. Sounds, <laughs> sound, none, none of them sound particularly. I mean, I'm just. I'm very glad. Don't maybe don't bring up any of your breakfast goods during this show. All right, is, all right, okay. They're yeah. all quite, especially. I mean, bum crumpets. I think and fart, fart muesli sound particularly disgusting. They are pretty bad. Mm. They are pretty yeah. bad. They're, they're, no. and, and willy toast. Yeah, of course, willy well, toast. Yes, just, willy oh, toast. Yeah, absolutely horrendous. Yeah, well, thank you for not saying any of those things uh, on this no, show. Right, right. Appreciated. Right, the reason the reason I have you two here, those have been just amazing answers, amazing tips so far. As I knew that we would get from such uh, Nobel Prize winners as yourself. But the the big important question is we we have had uh, we've had uh, an email from Ian uh, who's put in brackets pronounced Ian, and um, which I think is what he means. It's got e and then a dot and then and so unless he means pronounced e dot an. But I don't, I'm not sure. So maybe he's E. Dotton and he's age nine. And he says, and I'm going to read this uh, as he sent it to us. Oh, he's put, there's, I think there's 11 question marks. So I'll try my best. My okay. question is why TV gone? So that's what he's asking there. My question is why TV gone? Question, 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 question. So, and he's Johnny right. Paddy, he's right, of course. Why TV gone? T- TV go sometime. TV go. TV, TV go. go, TV go. Why? We Why? don't know. Why? TV I mean, go? is it? E- is it? It. Hey, hey. TV go. TV <laughs> is it? Ian, go. Is it Ian? TV go. Is has Ian's TV gone? Or are oh, we no. talking? Are we talking all TV? Is, all TV go. Yeah. Good question. I mean, I it's very difficult to know. Ian didn't specify anything other than why TV gone. So it's very possible that Ian's TV has just gone. It's gone. Yeah. Mm. Well, if that is the case, yeah. and I think I understand, then it could be that we buried it. Uh, yes, oh. we do have a tendency to nick TVs and bury them for for future generations. Of course, uh, to of find, course. Yeah. as we were saying earlier. Yeah, and we we bury them in um, well, well, mostly in in secondhand shops. Um, yeah, and then and then we take the money or bins. Yeah, or bins. Yeah, bins. If bins. If yeah, we, I mean. Like, because we see that, because you know, we we bury a lot of other people's stuff, and we see quite often when sometimes TV gone because people haven't been securing them properly. Like normally, you've got to use your TV chains, TV glue. Um, yeah, you normally got the sort of hooks that come with your TV mm. that attach it to the floor and wall. And a lot of people don't bother with that anymore. And then TV TV gone. TV gone. Um, also, I sure. think you've got like you've got to. It's not just about you know. You've got to bear in mind the 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 carrot and the stick, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, Which yeah. is, you know, like you can, you can, you can tie up a TV, or you could leave it a carrot, and then it's more likely to stay because it'll eat the carrot and be like, "Oh, I'll stay." There's good carrots here because TVs love carrots. And whilst it's distracted, yeah. you can take its stick uh, to stop it yeah, yeah. Know, hitting you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take its stick and turn that into, you know, something that doesn't- else. It doesn't it, really give us why TV gone though. Yeah, I mean that's that's the thing, and also I just you know I I, I I'm not saying that you didn't take Ian's TV, but mm, I don't know where sure. Ian lives. He might not live anywhere near you. His TV mm. might have gone for you know. I'm just I just I don't want to put the blame directly on you yet okay, until we've explored all possibilities. Is there that's another nice. reason why TV might have gone? Yep. Yep. Sometimes, um, sometimes TV sad. Oh, sometimes TV um, had enough, you know. Yeah, sometimes yeah. TV had too much, and you need uh, stroke TV. Give yeah, TV, TV little TV kiss, needs love too. Yeah, yeah, little little kiss yeah. on the on the aerial. Yeah, because a lot of people, it's all just like you know, turn off, turn on, go to number five, like all this yeah. kind of thing. Like, when's the Volume last time up. you've 
Yeah, when's the last time that you sat down and, you know, gave it a cup what, of tea, poured it into you that vent at the back? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah, you never what put does, on a show for the TV. What do they want to watch? Yeah. Great, yeah, yeah. Great, great point. But you know what, you know what like, TV show TVs just want to watch? What's that? I don't know. They the only they want to watch the um the channel that you only get in hotels that explains what's on at the hotel. That's the, oh yeah, that. with that sort of nice music that's really nice like, music. It's like you can't really yeah, describe what it. Sounds like, it doesn't sound like anything, but yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's lovely. There's, yeah. Listeners will be too We've young got to a remember spa. this. Yeah. But when when but when when I was younger, there was a magazine, and listeners won't know what that is. But it was like paper that was stuck together with pictures on it, and yeah. and these magazines. There was one called TV Break, and I guess that was about TVs needing a bit of a it, chill it time. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. I mean, yeah. some well, also like if TV Break, TV gone. Like, oh, of course, true. Yeah. you know, because because you know, keeping up, keeping keeping a TV up to date. With all the latest going on, I mean, it it spends so much time showing you what's happening. It doesn't well, ha- it doesn't have the time for itself. You're so. When right I was things. younger, we used yeah. to get a magazine called TV Guide. Mm. Oh, right, yeah. And when was the last time you took your TV to guides on a, you know, on a Thursday That's night? That's true. That is girl true. Guides. Mm. TVs love go- or scouts. Really. I'm just, yeah. just thinking about how many, we're, we're missing that now. A lot of these guys have how to treat TVs. There was one called Radio Times as well, which was about TV, but it seemed to be about what radio you would show the TV at what times, so that the yeah. TV right. could That's get right. entertainment from the radio. And none yeah. of these, none of these seem to exist anymore. I don't none know where people get their anymore. TV care from. No, no, is that, and that used to be really lovely when you'd leave, you'd leave the Radio Times next to the TV. The TV would circle all the ones it wanted mm. to listen to, and mm-hmm. you know, and you'd put, you know, mm. it's. Different times. Yeah. I mean, and there was, there was something made... for everyone, wasn't there? You could find yeah. out what time things are on. There was probably an article about, um, you know, uh, 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 Judy Dench buying a flower. Mm, um, yes, yes, she did know, that once. Wearing, believe, wearing yeah. a hat. Yeah, yeah. you know, yes. something was nice. You know? Always wearing a hat. Yeah, yeah. be like um, yeah. Doctor Who's on at seven. You know, yeah. that's, that that's a whole article. It's... And then at eight thirty, TV gone. Like TV you know, gone. Like it's yeah. It's... Poor Ian. What would you, what do you think Ian should do if if he if it is his TV that's gone? I mean, again, we haven't even got to the possibility of all TVs oh, yeah, gone. I haven't. Yeah. I'm not in a room with a TV right now. I, I assume mine is in the, the other room. I'm not sure. But but before we get there, I just you know what could Ian do to lure his TV back? Um. Well, has Nintendo gone? Oh, mm. good question. Yeah, you good know, question. Like, he hasn't maybe, mentioned it, so I'd guess because, no. You guess no. Nintendo stay. But TV gone. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't have a TV in this room either. But now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I did before we started recording and TV gone. Oh my goodness. And maybe no, no, I I've did as well. Yeah. Yeah. Very quietly. Maybe I've got Ian's TV in this room, noticed. so we don't need to worry. I've got. <gasps> what? TV gone. TV, TV gone? gone. No. TV gone. Why TV gone? Yeah, Why I just. TV I'm, gone? I'm just checking in with. Yep. Yeah, I'm. I've got Geneva on the line, and their TV's gone too. So um, what? How is she? Um, oh, very, very unwell. But uh, that's but you know, if we can get TV back, we we might still save them. Yeah. The, the last thing you need when you're ill is to have no TV. That's really oh, that's that would the be worst. the worst. You know, it's the worst. You know, worst. You're, you know, you, you're in your hospital book. bed, and they they bring you your nice soup and your cup of tea, and they say, "I'm afraid we have some bad news." TV, TV gone. gone. TV gone. Yeah. And yeah. Wow. read a book. You, you know, I hate read books. a book. Come on. I mean. So I think I, I think it's not just Ian's TV, but I think mm. he is the first to notice that TV gone. Good for him. So, mm. I mean, I feel bad not offering a solution as to how to get TV back. So, have any have either of you guys got ideas? Because I'm, I mean, TV gone, and I'm, I'm without TV, I'm nothing. So. I mean, I'm well, wondering if can... there's a jealousy. You know, we've we've all got all these other gadgets now. I mean, I'm I'm talking yeah. to you on my laptop. Maybe the TV's jealous. To, maybe I need to put my laptop in the bin, and the TV yeah. will come back. You could tape the remote control to the window so yeah. that if it's gone but it's still near, it might walk past and remember and miss the, you know, and be like, oh, mm. it's my friend remote. We I miss her. Or you could just keep hitting rewind and hope that TV, TV, TV follows TV its, 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 oh, yeah, retraces good. its steps. That's a very yeah. good yeah. plan. I, mean, I should just check. The one thing we haven't checked, you know, or, or covered, but... Uh, what is is we're, we're in March now, aren't we? We're recording this, and I, yeah. do, do, do TVs don't migrate or anything. They don't migrate for the spring, or there's nowhere. I haven't. I mean, I haven't seen a flock of TVs yeah, in well, the sky. 
Some the teams few days. do. It's not all of them. Mm. No. So, um, uh, so a Samsung TV yeah. that won't migrate. That won't no. migrate because that's um, that's uh, that's that's uh, you know. Whereas um, a Sony TV that doesn't migrate, yeah. it just sheds its leaves. Sure, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, sense. I haven't seen a migration probably since summer of 98 99 yeah, but that's yeah, you know yeah. when 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 they started getting leds and stuff like that that's I mean, right yeah. yeah you know blair. we started yeah blair like you know it's um it's it's a strange one but uh yeah, yeah i mean it could have it could just be trying to find its way home and t- sometimes tv gone but sometimes you don't know what you got till it's gone and then it no Maybe TV TV come back once it's learned some valuable life lessons. Oh, yeah, maybe yeah, it's a work experience. TV come back is not impossible, you know, and then yeah. maybe it'll, maybe it'll be upgraded. That's and, true. I mean, who knows what amazing shows it may have on it after having travelled around a bit? It yeah, might, I might mean, have HBO Max. Yeah, it wow. might have HBO Max, and that's that's sort of that's sort of what all TVs want. It might it might have a couple of piercings as well. You I mean you don't know? Yeah. Um, wow. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Let your TV yeah. find itself. You know, both literally yeah. and figuratively. That's that's uh, that's a beautiful message. Maybe that's maybe that's well why done. TV gone. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think that's a really lovely come back. Really beautiful message. Well, well, thank you both. Uh, hopefully, that's reassured uh, E E dot N uh, yeah. somewhat, and and hopefully he feels a lot better about the possibilities of his TV, or if not all of our TVs returning one day yeah. in the future um thank you i'm glad i'm glad i asked you to i, I thought you'd have some reassuring words on the subject um and mm. have you got an exciting uh rest of your day planned yeah we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try and see if um if we can put on over 400 hats yeah whoa wow as you can see i've started because i'm mm. wearing a hat yeah. um, yes. I, haven't, I haven't got started yet. i haven't got a hat on no he hasn't started um, but you know you know, I'm I'm I'm, pu- I'm putting in the work over here. You know, uh, <laughs> yeah. But I suppose 400 if, between the two of you is that 200 each or 400? Or are you going to get 400 collectively pairs of hats. like big yeah, enough? Yeah, it, it's confusing. Yeah, we right. do it in pairs. I'm afraid. So it's actually quite. Um, but as you know, with hats, pairs pairs means three, not two. So it's it's yes, it's quite a so strange. It's 1200 split. hats. It's 1200 hats per hat. Um, right. So sure. uh, sorry, pair hat is what I was trying to say there. And sure. um, yeah, so it, it's going to be a long week. Um, Are there any sort of super I, I, giant I, hats that you can both wear together? Yes. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, we've got well, a really I'm, big Stetson. We've got a big Stetson. Yes. We've repurposed some of the trousers, uh, you know, because you can get you can get you can get yeah. both of us in the sort of bum bit, and yeah. then uh, one head one head it. per cheek, and then and because they're so because they've got so much wee on them, they're almost yeah. transparent now, so you can see. Out. Yeah, and yeah, exactly, and. Um, it's just smelly. Wow. Well, it's just, it's just yeah, yeah. Best of luck with it, guys. I mean, this is quite the Thank challenge, you. and I hope, uh, I hope the next time I see you, you're under an awful lot of hats. Thank you. Thank you. Don't worry, we Thank will be. Understand. Likewise. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll try my best. Never forget <laughs> the treaty, Tiernan. <laughs> <laughs> Big thanks to Johnny and Paddy for their incredible answers to Ian's super important question that, of course, everyone has been wanting to know the answer to for quite some time. Um, I hope, Ian, that you are happy with your answer and I do hope that your TV returns very, very soon. Uh, please can I also suggest to all of you listeners, please don't try to wear too many pairs of trousers or pants if you're in the US. Um, please don't try to wear too many of them at once because Johnny and Paddy are professionals and they have trained for years and years in wearing trousers or indeed pants safely. Um, if you are in the UK, you can practice wearing as many pants as possible as that's quite funny uh, put several on your head it's just hilarious um, if you have a question you need answering or just want to send in any thoughts jokes tips on how to stop being allergic to tiny rhinos maybe um, then get your miffed grumble puppets sorry grown ups to help you email us at podcast at comedy club for kids.co.uk also if you fancy giving us a nice review or just five stars in the word poo oh that rhymes and I'm a poet but don't know it then do that on Apple podcast or any podcast platform that you use uh, also if your grown ups fancy buying us some anti rhino juice then they can donate to this show at ko-fi.com forward slash comedy club for kids or at the ACAR supporter button. I'm off to start counting pollen and I'll let you know just how many I find and I hope very much that it doesn't make me poop rhinos or the whole day will be an awful lot harder. Bye! You have been listening to Comedy Club for Kids Presents. Radio Dump 
nonsense. Radio nonsense. Radio nonsense. Radio nonsense. Radio nonsense. It's the end.